Things never change. Gonks tick the ballot and think they're actually making a choice. Only ever been one. Same shit, different assholes. And every time they think. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. Don't be A great man. The River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hahn. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Can make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend. Just wait. See me do anything? Fine. Do what you want. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be like Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hahn's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hahn's not a fan. He wanted to talk. Before the attack, he wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to you. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. What? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. 
So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because well, you got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. Just not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. All right, wait here then. You're looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Inside. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. We can, actually, and we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. I don't know! Let's move. Let's go. You work retail, right? So you should be able to count to two. Two of us, one of you. Tell us what we want to know. You won't need to learn what it feels like not to have the upper hand. At least not the hard way. All right, fine, chill. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. They got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. <sighs> My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. Seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that leap drop. Okay, let's go see this market of yours. You gonna take my car? Sure, thanks.
good 90% of any detective's job is talking. But you know that already. Must say, you're kinda natural. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberPsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. Privia. Christine Markov, know her? Has a stall here. Christine Don't know Markov. any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. I don't know her. You Christine Markov? No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tent over on the other side. You, Christine Marco? Hmm? No, she's over there. Stop. Thanks. Okay, you gotta be done. You, Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. How you looking? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pater, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Horvath make good scratch. <laughs> so where'd he get the eddies? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be... Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra work. And then he launched right... These, uh, speeches. Ryan, of course, got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that way? Look, I told you what. So as Horvat saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan? A uh, madam. Then Arasaka, the... Would that be all, detect? Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. Don't think we learned much of anything new. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. Then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Fuck off, Kitty Claus. V. Fuck off. What the fuck? Oh my, what 
God damn it, V. Told you I'd handle it. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. Okay. Red Queen's race now. First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. Hey, V. Haven't heard of any cyber psycho attacks lately. I think it's time we put an end to our little arrangement. Drop on by sometime. We'll catch up in person. Just that I appreciate the effort you put in. You've given most cyber psychos a second chance. And I know it wasn't easy. Some of the cyber psychotic have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn enough to write a piece on it. But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks. About cyberpsychosis? Not really, but thanks again for the help, V.